Hello, in this video, we're going to look at the market for lemons. We have two goods, a high quality good and a low quality good that we'll call a lemon. We're going to assume that consumers cannot verify the quality of the good before purchase. So a high quality good will look just like a low quality good or a lemon. Uh, well, we will also assume that the marginal cost of producing a lemon is less than the marginal cost of producing a high quality good. In a competitive market, the low quality goods are going to be priced at marginal cost. There might not be a market for high quality goods, however, because consumers don't want to pay a premium price for an advertised high quality good that might turn out to be a lemon. So it's possible, and we'll show this with our example, that only lemons might be sold in a market. So consumers are going to maximize expected utility. And here is the utility function. M is money income, and we're going to assume that's $20. P is the price of the good. The lemons are priced at $4, high quality goods based on their higher marginal cost, command a premium price of $16. And Q represents the quality. A lemon, a low quality good, has a Q of one. A high quality good has a Q equal to two. The probability of getting a lemon when purchasing a high quality good, let's assume, is 50%. The utility from buying a lemon so if you buy a lemon, we're going to plug in $20 for M. We're going to plug in the lemon's price of $4. So 20 minus 4 is 16, and the square root of that is 4. So 4 times 1, where 1 is the quality of a lemon, gives a utility of 4. On the other hand, if you were to buy a high-quality good, remember there is a chance that this high-quality good could be actually a lemon. So we're going to calculate the expected utility. There is a 50% chance that this high quality good that is priced at $16, so that's where the 16 is coming from, could be a low quality good or a lemon. So that's why the Q is 1 here. So there's a 50% chance buying a high quality good, you'll actually end up with a low quality good. On the other hand, there's a 50% chance that this high-quality good will indeed be a high-quality good. Therefore, the Q, instead of being 1, will equal 2. Doing the math here, your expected utility is 3. So if you're a expected utility maximizer, you get a higher level of utility from buying a lemon than taking a chance and buying the high quality good. So in this case, the high quality market collapses and consumers only buy lemons. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.